Well, folks, it finally happened. I got down here to Jefferson, and guess what? The time on the clock is wrong. It's not even close to right. Mm, it's been about a year and a half since we fixed this thing. So right now it is 2.13 on the clock. And if you look, there's another clock down the street. If you didn't see that video, by the way, go back and look at it. It's actually on uh, my brother Donnie's channel. It's also on Joe's Video Games channel. It's 4.50 right now. But the clock says 2.13. Mm. So we thought we had it fixed, but remember the... Now, if you didn't watch the other video, the... Uh, the motors had burnt up, uh, we think from heat. And uh, we replaced the motors, ordered different ones, put new connectors on them and everything, and got it all back up and running again. But here we are again, so I gotta fix it again, right? So it's two, just coming on 214. And remember, there's two motors in the clock. So if you go around to this side, It also says it's 214. Huh, now what in the world? How would two different motors both be off the exact uh, same amount of time? It's 450, I guess 451 now. Yeah, the clock down there says 451. So how are we off two hours and uh, <laughs> what? 32 minutes? How, how's that even possible? It's because the power went out. There was a big storm last night and the power went out. So this is the first time in a year and a half that the uh, power went out. So on the, on the previous one, whenever we messed with it, there were two types of clock or two types of two motors on each face. And there's a little access plate down here with a little box behind it. And it, we were talking before about there was one motor that is the RPM motor, one RPM, one revolution per minute like a clock, right? And then there was the uh, uh, 10 RPM motor, 10 revolutions per minute. And so there were both on each side. So we were, we were saying, man, I don't know why they had the 10 RPM one. It, it, it'd be about useless. So here we are. And I was thinking, you know, if I had that 10 RPM switch, I could just switch it here at the bottom and then go inside and come back after about, so I need to go up two hours and 32 minutes. Um, it's 120, 152 minutes. So in 15 minutes, if I came back, it would be, uh, well, it probably wouldn't be that either because time would pass. So I'd need to make up another 15 minutes too. Maybe 16 minutes, something like that. It's like 16 minutes if I came back, it would be getting close to the right time and I could just bump it until it get gets the right time so while that would be useful we were foreseeing um, we were foreseeing before that whenever it's daylight savings time if you had to go back like say in the fall an hour it would be about useless because you'd have to actually go forward 23 hours with the switch so you'd have to uh, I, I don't even want to do the math on that <laughs> it'd be a long time right couple of hours you'd have to leave it on you'd have to leave the switch on you'd have to run it 10 times the speed for a couple hours to get the clock up to the right time and so our point at the time was wow that little thing would help you a little bit because you could run the clock faster and it hooks to both of them that little switch um i was thinking you know to hell with that I think what I'll do is I'll just, whenever I need to adjust the time, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little access plate there on the side. So if you open that access plate, you can reach in and just by hand, turn the knobs and get them to the right time. So since we're off time, that's what we're going to do. Now, it didn't actually break. It's just somebody turned the power off. Well, the, the storm turned the power off. So the power went out this morning. Now, you notice the skies are beautiful. Not a cloud in sight as far as you can see but that's because the clouds uh, rolled out <laughs> literally no clouds 
The last couple days has been real windy though, so I don't know if the power went out last night or a couple days before. We usually come down here on Sundays. Um, okay, so there we go. And also the power is this little box right here. All that box does is uh, there's a pipe that goes underground and goes right to that clock. That's the only thing it runs in the whole town. So I'll grab the ladder and we'll uh, we'll fix the time real quick. Okay, folks, it's getting dark on us. We're inside work. I'm not afraid to come out of here and finish this up. This little plate comes off, and uh, you can see up inside it. Everything's still how we left it. See that long knob that sticks out on the back of the gear on each side. So I'm gonna very carefully set the clock at exactly what that one says, 542. Just so we don't confuse all of the passerbys. So let me see if I can get them both to look about exactly the same. All right, folks. We got both sides matching. They look good. What do you think, Donnie? Think they look good? <laughs> Donnie's getting ready to go. It's late. It's late. How far away do you live, Donnie? Hour. He's almost an hour away. So you're working. You're gonna be out till almost eight tonight. Yeah, but it's actually almost nine. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So he, you just you just ruined the video. I was going to tell him about the secret. Oh. So here's the deal. Okay. I had to come down here and change the time because the power went out but this is no today's november 1st which is uh <laughs> the day that daylight savings ends so you know what that means i was gonna have to fix the time anyway now who's luckier than that donnie but think about that i don't know buddy the the t the the, the uh, power went out so the time was off on the clock which means i have to come down here and fix it but uh the universe was so nice to me that it made it happen on the exact same day that I was going to have to come down here and fix the time anyway. <laughs> so, it's cool. Only thing about it, people have mentioned the light, it's down there in the bottom. It doesn't illuminate it perfectly. You know what I mean? It's got a hot spot. I'll tell you what we need to do is find one of them damn stick lights. It's like a fluorescent. Oh, yeah, it's like longer, so yeah. it would reach out there. Oh, it wouldn't work though because that right in the middle is where the the uh, motors are i don't know we might have to do some leds or something you know i'm not really an led guy but uh we'll see here comes somebody somebody's hauling ass here to come here to come real quick <laughs> is that the south carolina sag so there are these people down here that drive around in trucks with the ass end of it like sagging like people used to do with Cadillacs back in the day when the damn springs were worn out. Um, and they call it what, Nani? South Carolina Sag. The South Carolina Sag. So are you a fan of that? Yep. <laughs> no. Not us people. <laughs> All right. So we got the clock fixed. So you know what was wrong with the clock, Nani? It was out of time. Yeah, nothing was wrong with it. The power just turned off, so the, the stopped running. Okay, folks, so there you go. There's an update on the clock. It's been a year and a half, and it's been out of off time once, which just happened to be exactly on Daylight Savings Day, and uh, I had to change the time anyway. So everything is copacetic. Leave us comments below. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We will see you on the next video.